Hello, I'm Brian Kane with Caterpillar. Today we're going to talk a little bit about the 990 wheel loader. So we're going to do a quick walk around on this machine. We're going to talk a little bit about some of the components that we would check as an operator. When it comes to the bucket on the front of the machine, we have different offerings for our customers. Depends on the material type we're in. We've got some rock cutters on this, uh, different GET, different bucket size offerings. Uh, depends on material type and density. And then we have the Z-bar linkage on this. So what that does for us as the operator, we're able to get into the material, penetrate the material easier, get that fill factor that we need to get everything loaded to the truck. So with that being said, we're gonna do a little bit of ground level walk around on this machine. Let's come around and take a look. As we come to the middle of the machine, this is our fast fill from ground level. We're able to fill this machine during shift changes without having to climb on top of the machine or anything else. The other thing we have here is we have our third exit point. If the other two are blocked by any means, we're able to get off this machine nice and safe. Three points of contact, making us feel very safe and secure getting off the machine. As we walk into the articulation area of this machine, we're able to see our sight gauge for our transmission. That's also where we would fill up if we needed to. The other thing, a safety feature on this machine would be where we're able to lower our loader arms with a valve in case something were to happen while the loader arms were in the ground. As we come to the back of the machine, we have another entry and exit point on there. We have handrails on here that makes it very nice and easy for three points of contact. As we come towards the back of the machine, early mornings, late nights, we have the, our ability to turn on some lights so we're able to get into these entry and exit points nice and safe. Then we also have our transmission lockout. So if needed to be serviced, this machine could be running. We could turn this on where the machine will not move. We are not able to go forwards or backwards. Then we also have our engine shut down. So we can shut our engine back down here, and then we have our fuel shut off, which will shut the engine down in case of an emergency. On the back of our 990, we have our CAT object detect. We have our reverse camera up top, and then we have a hydraulic driven reversing fan on this machine. Next, we have our third access point on here. We have grab handles on here. We have nice safe steps that we're able to get on and off this machine if we need to. Next, we have our primary disconnect on here. We're able to shut that off while we're not using the machine to save on energy and safety. Next, we have our 24 volt receptacle here that we're able to jump this machine from one to another, nice and safe. Next here, we have our service port. We're able to turn this key on with the machine. We're able to see any diagnostics that we need to see something, event that's gone wrong. We're able to check a lot of our fluids from down here. We have soft keys on here that we're able to hit and touch. It's gonna to tell us exactly if the machine is full or not. Then we also have our ET port on here where we're able to plug in if we need some type of diagnostics. Um, the technicians can find that all from down here. Next, we now have our quick evacs down here. Where we're able to pull uh, engine oil out. We're able to pull hydraulic oil out, anything we need to do from ground level. Very nice and safe, no climbing on the machine. We're able to pull oil in and out of this machine very easy. Next, we have our uh, articulation lock. So what that does for us is we're able to lock this machine if we need to service it so there is no pinch point on here. We also have our brake check and steering check up top that's filled with hydraulic oil. Inside of articulation area here we have another transmission sight gauge. Before we get into the cab we have a few more things we'll look at here. We have our auto loop system that's ground filled so we can fill that from the bottom but we're able to see that up top. We have our engine coolant sight gauge here so we're able to see what kind of coolants in this machine. Also we have our windshield washer fluid so this is the kind of the cavity that we would fill if we needed to add that. And then last but not least we have our engine air cab filter that we're able to look at and clean out before we get into the cab. Okay, so we've done our ground level walk around, checked everything that we need to do with this machine. Now we've got it up into the cab. We have this nice armrest that folds up for easy access and easy uh, exit. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our transmission and steering lockout and we're going to engage that so we have full control of this machine as we're going to operate. The other thing we'll talk a little bit about is we have kind of our trainer seat or buddy seat here. We're able to get in this machine and work with the operators to see if he or she is has any questions on operator techniques or any of the keys that we're going to cover. So what we have here is our impeller clutch. This works uh, with when we use throttle lock, so we're able to use this impeller clutch to control how much power the, the transmission is going to give us as we go into the pile, and we're able to modulate all of our uh, control with our left pedal. Then we have our service brake. This is going to stop the machine at any time that we need it, and then we have our throttle uh, that we're able here to use on the right. We have our implement uh, controls over here. We have our loader arms and our bucket curl. Then we have our throttle lock on here. Next, we have our cat payload. We're able to 
enter a number if we know the desired payload on the machine. And then we're able to store that with just a quick button right here. We don't have to take anything off to what we're doing. It will count down the payload as we need it up or down and tell us an exact weight of the what we're putting into the trucks or the hoppers. Next, we have our soft keys over here as we kind of go through those. We have pretty much an auto transmission where it's going to shift up and down. We have transmission lock where it's going to hold it into a gear. We have our rim pull. We have ride control, which reuses our accumulators and gives us a very nice ride as we're uh, maybe doing a little bit of load and carry. And then we also have throttle lock engaged here. And then we have our eco mode. So eco mode, it pretty much lowers the engine RPMs. It knows exactly what we're doing into the pile and where we're going. It will ramp the machine up and down and save on fuel. So that's a little bit about our 990 uh, wheel loader, and now we're ready to get our day started. <music>